Hey, hey, hey. Week 10 of the NFL season has come to an end. And of course, uh, we got some surprises this week. You know, it's the NFL. There's going to be surprise each and every week, as we've already stated. So we start out Thursday night, and the Titans and the Colts were taking on you know, one another. They were in a battle for about uh, three quarters. And then uh, the Colts started to play defense. The Colts started to just do what they needed to do. Neam Hines played well. Phillip Rivers played well. Defense was doing great. I think there was a block punt. I don't remember because it was last Thursday and I've already forgotten. But the Colts took the criticisms that they got from the last couple weeks, you know, because they they needed this win. And they're atop the AFC South now. Very good job by them. They they did excellent. They contained Derrick Henry. They contained Ryan Tannehill. They contained that Titans offense because that Titans offense can score. They can. They really can score. But then we go to a dreadful, and I mean dreadful, Sunday slate. And it's not that it was completely bad. It's that, you know, it was just, you know, less of an intriguing, you know, set of matchups that we've had in the past, you know. Cleveland, Houston, delayed by lightning and thunder and all that good stuff. And Nick Chubb, you know, ruined fantasy owners, you know, fantasy football owners, you know, you know, to get them some more money. <laughs> but the Browns beat the Texans ten to seven. They didn't need to do much if it's the Texans, I mean come on. Let's, let's get out of here with that. The game that Fox put, you know, to most of the to most of the markets was the Buccaneers and the Panthers. Now the Panthers kept it close for about three quarters, and then the Bucks started to blow the Panthers out the water. So there was no point watching this game at all. The Bucks were going to be angry. They were going to come back pissed, and then they were going to come back and just beat up on the Panthers. Packers really got surprised by the Jags, but it's the Jags, man. You can't really say anything about the Jags, they, I mean, I mean, you know, the Packers did just enough to get by the Jaguars, you know, that's all they needed to do, was just get by and win the game, Lions, Washington, honestly, you know, Washington had this game tied up in <laughs> less than 20 seconds to go, the Lions decide to say, hey, we're not going into overtime, we're going to win this game in regulation, and that's exactly what they did, with a field goal to end the game, Washington, right now, they're projected to be the third, you know, team to have a draft pick, so that's, that's, you know, you know, they're, they're, the third, they'll be number three in the NFL draft right now. My Dallas Cowboys would be number four, so thank God for that. And the Giants keep it ever so much closer in the NFCs. Now, the Eagles have a tie, you know, against the Bengals all the way back, you know, weeks ago. So it's going to be a little bit difficult, you know, for them to... Uh, Keep on playing and, you know, just not giving up to expectations. But the Eagles, the Eagles are in trouble. They are in a little bit of trouble because they looked awful. How do you let Daniel Jones run all over you? How do you let this man, he didn't trip up this time. He ran the ball very effectively. He didn't turn it over. There were no turnovers in this game, surprisingly enough. And the Giants just really kept the Eagles on edge. They really kept them on edge. And I gotta say, congrats, Giants! You've done you've done what you needed to do. You've done your job, keeping the Cowboys in it. Because if the Eagles were to win that game, it'd be a little bit closer to over. I'm not I'm not just saying that. I'm I'm, I'm stating facts. Like the NFC East is that bad, and I think you know very few wins will win the division this year. Um, Dolphins they beat the Chargers. You know I don't really care. <laughs> um. Raiders blow out the Broncos, Steelers blow out the Bengals, Drew Brees got injured, and so Jameis Winston had to come in, but the 49ers are not very good at all this year, so there's no point talking about this 49ers team, they didn't look too great, you know, Saints win by two touchdowns, um, the Rams, they beat the Seahawks 
it did feel like, you know, the Seahawks were in this game for very long. They, it didn't feel like it. Not at all. You know, Russell Wilson still had a bad game. You know, the defense was getting burned left and right. I mean, this is this is concerning. The Seahawks lost two straight. They've lost two straight games, and it's looking real concerning out there. The NFC West is looking like a dogfight. It is looking like a dogfight to the finish, especially because of that game between the Bills and the Cardinals. Boy, what a game. DeAndre Hopkins, catch of the year, over three guys on a Hail Mary to beat the Bills. And I mean, this game was great. Really, really good game to compliment the shit show that the Seahawks were putting up against the Rams. And I mean, both these teams are going into the playoffs. Let's just be real. Both the Bills and the Cardinals are going into the playoffs. Seahawks and Rams are probably going to go too. But the Bills, they played their hard as they, they thought they had this game won with less than 20 seconds left to go. And I mean, there was defensive stops all over the place. The Bills were stopping the Cardinals in the first half and everything like that, holding them the field goals instead of touchdowns because that offense can score. And they did exactly that. What a game it was. I hope we get another one like this in the future. Bills Cardinals, honestly, one of the best games of the season. Sunday night was not very interesting in the fact that it's very surprising. It was very surprising to see that the Patriots beat the Ravens. I didn't watch this game. I ended up doing something else on that night. Uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. The Ravens it looked kind of iffy the past couple weeks. They've looked kind of iffy, and I don't know what's going on with them. But I'll tell you what's going on with the Bears. They're bad. The Bears are bad. Bears are very, very bad. Nick Foles got carted off with an injury. Dalvin Cook, who started to emerge, you know, he's he's based, he's my pick for comeback player of the year. I mean, let's just say that right now because, I mean, he's been coming back from injury, you know, injury after injury, and putting up numbers like this. He leads the NFL in touchdowns and stuff like that. And Kirk Cousins finally wins a primetime Monday night football game. What a crazy sequence of events. The Bears' offense looks bad. You know, the Bears' defense is good enough, but the offense is dreadful. Mitchell Trubisky, you know, he I'm not sure if he's starting now because of Nick Foles' injury. I'm not sure what in the world the injury even is for Nick Foles. Not that I care, you know. Because I haven't, I didn't, I didn't watch this game. I did not watch this game. And the Vikings are back in the thick of things in the NFC. They're back in it. Crazy, right? And they could, and they could easily be at five hundred next week. Because guess who they take on? My Dallas Cowboys. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Like the Bears are teetering off the edge, and the Vikings are trending back up. And the Lions are right there in the mix of things as well because I don't, I don't know why. Because they're the Lions. They have to, you know, they have to experience heartbreak each and every year. But yeah, Sunday, week 10. Again, not the most intriguing slate in the world, but we still got a lot of things that had to be figured out nonetheless. And, you know... There's really no elite team in the NFL this year. I don't really consider the Steelers elite. I mean, despite the fact they're still undefeated, but I mean, it's the Steelers right now. And they, yeah, you could win against the Bengals. You could easily beat up the Bengals, but you can't beat up the Cowboys. So, who knows? But with that being said, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. Preview week 11, because oh boy. It's a lot better, I'll tell you that. It's still a bunch of, still not a lot of good matchups. I'll say that much. See you then, everybody.